Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. So in the last video, we saw uh, how to create this particular visual in Power BI, which is called as decomposition tree, which is over here. Uh, we saw how to use this to uh, we use this visual and also we also learned uh, how to analyze the data using this particular visual and we also learned how powerful this particular uh, uh, visual is right now uh, however in this particular tutorial we would like to take the visualization to the next level uh, especially when you are presenting this to your uh, seniors in your organization uh, to your directors or your, to your VPs, etc. They would like to see, they wouldn't want to sort of, you know, go back close here and, you know, explore what is available and look at the data. So to make things very simple and take it to the next level, uh, we are going to use something called as bookmarks, which is the function available uh, within Power BI, which you can use to create certain things, right? Now, what I mean by that is uh, I'm going to uh, show you what I am going to be creating. Uh, for example, uh, over here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few buttons over here. Okay, um, let's say button uh, for the first button saying uh, yearly analysis and the second button saying uh, analysis by uh, subcategory and then third button saying analysis by uh, country or city, right? What usually, so when I say uh, I will add a button saying that when you click on that, we will see the analysis by uh, the uh, category or subcategory, right? What I mean is, so basically uh, here, I am going to begin this visual from my subcategory uh, field. And then I'm going to break that down with, let's say, year. Uh, and then I'm going to break that down with uh, um, city. And then I'm going to let me just click on this, bring the year. So here, basically, what's happening is uh, when I look at phones, I am now able to see how much spend or how much sales we've made uh, in the last four years, right? And when I click on 2017, I get to see the city. And then I have, let's say, ship mode. Uh, these are my shipping modes and then let's say I want to know which uh, month right so you click on this you get to see months now it is a uh, time consuming task to sort of create this manually and uh, you know every time if you have to see the data it is time consuming so it's good to have a button over here right so let's say uh, I am going to add a button over here and uh, let me click on insert. I'm going to, let's say, add a shape, right? You can add anything here that you would like to. Uh, let's just give it a background color to this, maybe orange, uh, remove the fill. And then there is a border, which I don't like. Okay, it is line, uh, I'm going to change it transparency to 100%. Uh, so I now have uh, this particular thing here. So let me call this uh, by year, uh, sorry, uh, let me go to the title and add this as uh, yearly analysis. Okay, and then I'm going to bring this to center, increase the font size. Let me make this a little smaller, right? Uh, and change the font color to white, okay? And then I'm going to copy paste this uh, to over here and call this, uh, change the title to um, subcategory analysis. Now what I'm going to now do is uh, I am going to create a bookmark, right? So when I say bookmark, I'm going to come here and then I'm going to click on add. Uh, I'm, so this is right now I'm on the subcategory uh, visual, right? So I'm going to name this as subcategory, okay? And click on enter. And uh, also open the pane, which is for selection over here. I have my decomposition tree. I'm going to rename this to subcategory. Okay, rename this to subcategory. So miss the U button there, U there. Okay, this is my subcategory. All right. Uh, so now I'm going to 
go to the subcategory bookmark that I created, click on these three ellipses over here and then click on update. So basically what's happening is that uh, I am going to, I am saying that uh, when I go to the subcategory, when I click on subcategory, I want this particular chart to be visual, uh, to be visible, right? Now you'll, you'll understand more as I, when I go to the next section, right? So I'm going to copy this visual, paste it again, right? So now I have two visuals, right? So what I'm going to now do is, uh, so now if you see here in the selection, there are two um, subcategory uh, visuals that have been created. Now I'm going to hide the one which we uh, mapped under this. I'm going to hide this. And then I am going to name this as yearly analysis. Okay, I have named this as yearly analysis. So when I unhide this, even that the entire uh, visual gets hidden, right? So I need this to make some changes, right? Uh, I'm going to close everything here and then I'm going to select year. And then I need uh, subcategory, I need um say city i need say um, uh, ship mode and then i need the month right okay so this is the uh, visual that i want when i click on yearly analysis all right so now i'm going to add a new bookmark over here and then i'm going to rename this to yearly analysis okay and now i am going to so with this hidden right the subcategory visual i am now going to click on update so basically whatever that you see here on the screen is going to be visible when you click on yearly analysis right so i'm going to click on this and click on update right so we've now created two bookmarks one is for subcategory and the other is for yearly analysis okay uh, so and now you need to make a change uh, click on subcategory here and you need to hide the yearly analysis right otherwise even that will be visible so you need to click on subcategory and hide the yearly analysis and click here on the ellipses and click on update now when we click on yearly analysis you see the first field that we see here is year and then for followed by the other fields that we selected and when i click back on subcategory i see subcategory first followed by year right you can do the same thing with city analysis as well uh, in, in, the, in the interest of the time, I'm going to skip that. And what I'm now going to do is we have not assigned this particular thing to these uh, buttons over here, right? So how do we assign the bookmark that we've created to this particular uh, button over here, right? Now I'm going to click on yearly analysis, come to the format shape, okay, and click on action on, okay, expand this and then in the type here, select bookmark, right? Now this is the yearly analysis. When you click on bookmark, this expands and then you can click on yearly analysis, right? And that's it, that is done. And then we need to go to subcategory, do the same thing again, action on, click on bookmark, and then click on subcategory, right? We are done. Let's close this, close everything. So now, since we are on Power BI desktop, we need to press control to activate the button. On service, you don't need to press the control the but uh, to press the control button. And we are on subcategory now. And then I'm going to click on control and then click on yearly analysis. You see the chart changes here automatically. And then when you click on subcategory, the chart changes again to subcategory that we selected. So you can create as many as uh, buttons that you want here and change the visuals in one click based on whatever your requirement is. So this is one of the ways where you can take your spent, uh, your decomposition tree to the next level and analyze the data. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new and exciting. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.